Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown, your Carrick Train Concussion Doctor, Board Certified Chiropractic Neurologist and Fellow in Traumatic Brain Injury and Rehabilitation. I'm going to continue down lobes of the brain and what can happen when things go awry or how they can present. We'll start with the frontal lobe. So the frontal lobe, since it is our personality, we can have changes in personality. We can not like being around people. People can not like being around us. Uh, we can get some of those personality disorders that psychiatrists work with. Um, we can have changes in motor, so our movement patterns are how quickly we move, and what's the memory? Memory is the other thing that we can have an issue with. That's our short-term executive function, and that can be broken. Also, when that frontal lobe is not working, we're more likely to react to a situ situation rather than be able to calmly think and um, maybe not argue with the person. Then we also have the parietal lobe, which deals with sensory, and the sensory it deals with is light touch, pain, temperature, and vibration, and there are different pathways that lead up to the brain to let us know about that. A good example, well, there's two good examples, but one is going to be the Lego. You step on a Lego, it's going to be sharp. There's a pain fiber that comes up and says, hey, there's something sharp, we don't want to cut our foot. So it will feed forward to the motor and say, hey, lift that leg, and also at the same time, try not to make us fall. So these are reflexogenic um, circuits. The other thing is you can have a sensory issue at the end organ where it, it uh, has a sensation, or you can have an issue in the nerve that goes up to the spinal cord, or you can have an issue at the spinal cord. Therefore, we get changes in mapping in that parietal lobe. There are many areas for dysfunction. So when we talk about our diabetic patient that gets the ulcers, that is because the end organ neurons have been damaged and they cannot perceive sens sensation approach appropriately to say, hey, we're not getting blood flow, lift your fo foot up and move. Instead, it just stays there and creates a sore. That's it, that's all I have for parietal lobe. It's much more complex than that. Um, I'd have to do evaluation to tell you if yours are working, but if you'd like to know more, website's below or you can click on the link here to subscribe to my YouTube.